Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13 year old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand where I used to work as an underwater cameraman and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel once again and we're at the desk. It's been miserable weather, we haven't managed to go and film another van tour this week. We've got a couple more lined up, we'll see how we go, how the weather goes and how my work goes over the coming weeks as to whether we can do that or not. I'm obviously working really hard through the week, I don't have time to film much or edit much. Um, I'm just saving the money to get this new van and then when we get the new van we can go on the adventures and continue this YouTube, uh, continue this YouTube channel and continue this YouTube channel the way it was meant to be. Uh, with others on adventures and touring and traveling and home education and all that sort of thing. But for now, we're just thinking about what van, because I still have no idea. I am think, every now and then I think I know, right, I'm going with this. And then something happens or I get a comment on YouTube and they all help. All your comments help me loads, but they do throw a spanner in the works and send me off again thinking, yeah, maybe they're right. Maybe I should go with that one or this one. So yeah, but the basic layout I'm pretty happy with. And I got the layout idea from actually one of the factory built ones that we saw in the dealership in one of the earlier videos. So let me take you into Vanspace 3D and talk you through where we're at with that. So back in Vanspace 3D here, I have what I believe could be the final design. But wait a minute, wait a minute. We're just going to pop over here and have a little look. If you all remember my Excel spreadsheet I did. At the moment, I am looking at the Citroen Relay, the Fiat Ducato, the Peugeot Boxer, all the same van, but looking at the L4 version, the extra long wheelbase. The only thing that might sway me differently is the fact that the Sprinter long wheelbase has another... 30 something centimeters which doesn't sound like much but when you're living in a little van i could make a, a small wardrobe out of that and it gives us room to possibly have a, a bigger fridge you know a tall standing fridge um for those who don't understand i thought it might be worth just having a quick look where are we here all the different companies label their vans differently for the different sizes so this is uh, Crafters. You see they have a medium wheelbase, a long wheelbase, and the long wheelbase Maxi. Okay. Now, this is where my heart lies at the moment with the Ducato family vans. And as you can see, this yellow one at the front is the basic van that you see everywhere. Then it goes up to L2, uh, L3 and L4. I've just noticed this document says L4 and L5, but that's not correct. It goes L2, L3, L4. So L4 obviously being the longest one, this green one you can see at the back here, which is just over four meters in length internally, because that's what we've got to work with. And then you've got the H, which signifies the height, H1, H2, H3. So what I am looking at is the L4, the longest one, with the H3, the highest one, basically the biggest size this van goes to. Now, if you're looking at these other ones, such as Sprinters, they don't use the L1, L2 um, label. They just say medium uh, long wheelbase or extra long wheelbase, or like you saw with the Crafter, they say long wheelbase maxi. And some of the others, it, it's all a bit different. So when we look here, we can see what it means. So basically the biggest of the Ducatos is still not quite as long as the Sprinter long wheelbase. The Sprinter extra long wheelbase is just massive again and I don't want to go that big, I don't think. I don't think I do. I feel there's benefits to a slightly smaller van. I know the more space internally will be 
great to live in, but we're going to be in hot countries and we don't live inside the van. We just sleep in there and go in to cook occasionally. Or if it's raining, we might just have to spend a day or two inside. So that's why I want a little bit more comfort. But considering you're going to be moving the vehicle around a lot of the time, you want something that you can park in supermarket car parks. Uh, I know in Spain, there's a lot of sort of more off-roady sort of tracks to get down to certain beaches and things like that and a much bigger van would be a lot harder to do that with anyway that's where i'm thinking at the moment um what have we got here i've been looking at ideas uh i found through vanspace 3d i found their instagram and everyone shares their different ideas on here and it's actually very very helpful this is one uh a version someone did to get three beds in and as spacious as that is, it just means there's no garage space underneath. And that is something that I just, it's a must for us. I must have a massive garage space. But this is really uh, good. If you go onto Instagram and you can go to Vanspace 3D, anyone who's designed, well, lots of people who've designed vans and have uh, shared it onto their page, which is fantastic. So you get loads of different ideas, but the three bed design that I need just does not exist anywhere. And I have searched high and low. The best you can get is three beds that eat into the garage space so you've got no garage, or like two beds at the back, and then a third bed that needs disassembling every single day. And this is one of the things that I stipulate for the van is a must. I want garage space and I want uh, beds that do not have to be packed away every day and do not have to be folded out uh, again at the end of the, uh, uh, for the evening when you want to go to bed. So those are two of my main things. And then plus I want to get a little shower room in there. I don't care what size. I would like a little shower room because I've got a young lady on board and the young lady would need personal private space. So might as well have a shower room with a little place for the toilet in there. Okay, so that takes us on over to Fanspace 3D and what I've been coming up with today. This is the Ducato L4 H3. Now you know what that means in case you didn't before. You've learned something today. And this is the layout I'm looking at. Now it is more or less the exact same layout of the factory build versions of these vans. So some of you will remember who've been watching previous videos, we as a threesome, me, John and Ella have all decided that we definitely want to go with this seating arrangement at the front. Ella is sold on the idea, it took a bit of convincing because she's used to having three of us sitting across in the cab while we drive everywhere and Ella doesn't like change very much. But um, she gets the idea now uh, that these swivel seats, two seats in the front that swivel and uh, another bench seat or proper uh, seat belt seats in the back. This would have a seat belt as well, of course, even if it was a bench seat uh, is another place for someone to sit. But that means we've got a whole dining area, computer workstation area, whatever there. And this gives us room, as you can see behind there. I'll just flip it around. This, obviously, we've got storage all the way down this wall here. Loads and loads of storage. But for the time, for the moment, I'm just going to delete those because they just get in the way of us being able to see. From this side, this would be the kitchen area here with probably one of those fold-up tables like we saw in Dorothy's van last week. If you haven't seen that, jump back and have a look at that little van too. A beautiful sprinter van. Um, I would probably have a partition here, but uh, there's nothing in Vanspace 3D that I can find to, to build one with. But this is my bed design idea. And I've run it by both the kids and they both love it. So, as you can see, it's a slightly thinner than normal single bed, but it's a full length. So that would be me right there with a little window as well. And then a little bit of a partition of some description and then Jean would be on the other side under there. And then some sort of bunk bed system going on. Now, whether this does fold up a little bit just to give us a bit more headroom during the day, it's not assembling and disassembling the bed, but just a quick flick of a lever or a push and a click and it just folds up out of the way a bit. That would be Ella's bed. 
and with curtains across like this. And John can have curtains as well. They can both have curtains, but this was just to show her that she can have a little privacy. So let me spin it around to the other side. So from this side, look, and they could both even have their own little window and it's like their own miniature little bedroom area. And I think that'd be really, really cozy. We can put some sort of little storage area at the, at the end here. I mean, above the shower here, the reason I've gone for the L3 height is so we could do this bunk bed configuration and they'd have enough room in there while still leaving garage space underneath. Now it's undecided on the height of these yet. It might have to come down a little bit more, but I, like I said, want huge garage space as much as possible. Anyway, so Ella could even hear this cupboard could be closed off at the front and open from this side and she can access that and have that entire cupboard space there above the shower cubicle because it's such a high van. And John and I would share maybe this partition thing I could uh, half it in the middle and he could have a door on one side. I have a door on another to keep our books. Um, who knows? Shaving equipment. Yes, he's old enough. I bought him a shaver for Christmas. <laughs> he's 13 and it was thought it was about time. Um, who knows? But then at the front of it here, it's very hard to see, but like little step up blocks coming up. And then you can get onto my bed, onto there and Ella can get up into there. And I just thought it'd be a great added seating area with like some sort of little swivel table like this so someone could easily sit on my bed here and have a laptop out here and work no problem someone can lay in bed reading a book someone could be showering cooking and there's still a whole bunch of seats up the front here and a table for someone else to sit and work we're not going to be doing that we're going to be in hot countries but there will be days when we get rain and storms and we will hit bad weather sometimes so we're all going to be trapped in the van so it's nice to have the space to spread out now what to give you a better idea of this bed i actually found on youtube a guy who'd built um he, he built lots of vans and this is exactly what i want except i'm going to have a bit more of a partition down the middle of the van now, I'm sure it won't like mind me uh, showing you this. I'm just going to quickly click through it. But you can see down here, it's Voyage Adventure Vans. I'll put a link in the description down below to his channel and you can have a look around. But uh, I'll turn the sound down and let's just have a look. So this is essentially the layout I want. If we look through this here, look, there we go. So bench seat, table, swivel seats, kitchen, bathroom there. And the only difference is we've got an extra bed. But wait a minute and just look at this, the gap between the beds and the way he calls it a swallowtail bed. Look at that there on the right. Now that, I think he does get in closer. Let's have a look. That is what I'm thinking. With the lights, it looks lovely. It, it, it extends the floor space, it feels like. Um, I think that is a wonderful design, an absolutely wonderful design. And it's where John and my feet, uh, our feet would be in the bed, our heads up here. Obviously, we'd have some sort of partition there with uh, storage and then a table across there. So you can see how that would work as if Ella's bed was up above it and it would jack up a little bit. That's another seating area with a table. Then plus, I believe if we skip across to about... Da -da, here somewhere you can see he has storage in him of course you do it's a van you put storage everywhere so he's got flip up lids on there that would be great little shoe boxes and cupboards wouldn't it so there we go anyway so his design is more or less exactly what i want to do the only difference being we're going to have another bed up here which is why we need the extra height. And then we fit as much cupboard storage around as possible. So that is a lovely van. Like I say, I will put a link to his channel channel down below. And uh, yeah, have a look for yourselves if you want. So folks, I'm afraid that's about all I've got time for there. I hope that was of some use to you. And please drop me comments. They help so, so much. When I just think I've got myself set on what van I'm going to go with. And at the moment, I really am steering towards the Decato. I get a comment from someone who says, nah, their engines are rubbish, and so what if the sprinter um, rusts? You can just stay on top of it, and it's like, yeah, well, if I'm living on the road, I'm going to have loads of time on my hands, he says. 
Um, I will keep spray paint and uh, filler and sandpaper and things I need in the back of my big garage anyway. So I would, I would love laying in the sunshine while the kids are on the beach just tending to the van. I wouldn't mind doing that to be perfectly honest. So it's a possibility. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. I'm open. I'm open to anything. I really, really am. At the moment, I'm steering towards the Decato, if I can get the high roof long version. They, they seem to be a lot harder to get, to be honest. The boxers are easier to come across, but I've heard now that the boxer and the relay are the same engine, and the Decato is actually a different engine, which is better. So maybe that's why they use the Decatos for these um, Adria, Adria conversions. Let me know. Anyway, if you haven't already, guys, please do subscribe and like the videos. This helps loads. Um, that's it. I will see you next week, hopefully.